even Jesus himself said that John the Baptist, no one born of a woman is greater than John the Baptist, Jesus said. The last of the prophets, the greatest of the prophets. We read from the book of Jeremiah this morning because we know the life of a prophet was not easy called by God, given a very sacred duty to speak the truth. His word to change people's hearts was anything but an easy task. But the Lord promises Jeremiah, I will leave them crushed before you, his enemies. I will deliver you. That was the promise God made to every prophet. And John the Baptist was like all of them who went before him. He faced a difficult life. We hear of his work throughout the scriptures of calling people to repentance, washing away their sins in the Jordan River. Perhaps his his wisdom is what we need to hear again today that, that I would increase so that decrease so that he can increase, that we would live less for ourselves and more for God every day. That's a challenge that we must face to allow the life of the Lord Jesus to grow ever more deeply in our hearts. That's what conversion is all about. It isn't instantaneous. It doesn't happen all at once. It takes hard work through our prayer, our penance, our good deeds, aided by that grace of God who will deliver us from every evil if we allow him to. That's what John the Baptist calls us to, but he too went to his death. That's the feast we celebrate today, the beheading of John the Baptist. And that story we've heard many times the conflict between King Herod and John the Baptist, you know, it reflects the battle that goes on in every human heart, including our own. This isn't really about good versus evil. That's too simple. We hear in the story, King Herod is moved by the words of John the Baptist. He liked to listen to him. He was very perplexed by what he was teaching. That word touched his heart in some way. He did not want John to be put to death. He knew him to be a man of God, a righteous man. And he struggled inside of himself to allow that word to change his heart. That happens to us every day. Because what we hear in the story are all of the forces around King Herod calling him to live differently. The forces of evil that are strong, the work of the devil. He desires nothing other than we would close our hearts to grace, to the life of Jesus. And he's calling us to do that every day. We have to fight back, push back. But the voices of others just like in the life of John the Baptist, calling us to compromise on the truth, to set aside the things we believe in, to move in a different direction perhaps than what Jesus is calling us to do. We all have those influences. They aren't good. True friendship desires to help us do what is right and good and just. Those are the voices we need to listen to, not the ones that call us to move away from God and the truth of his teaching. That's what led King Herod down the path of destruction. He had no choice, he felt, at the end, even though he did, we all do. Do we stand for truth no matter what the cost? Are we willing not to compromise on what the teaching of Jesus is all about so that we can save our souls? John the Baptist speaks of courage, of the suffering that comes to those really who are faithful to Jesus. It will happen to all of us. Anyone who wants to follow me must carry his cross, Jesus says. And so we celebrate the life of John the Baptist 
but we pray for his, his courage, his perseverance. We pray that he might help us along the way so that as these forces battle each other in our own hearts, the truth and the goodness and the life of God will always win. Be our priority that we will always love God with all our heart, mind, and soul and love our neighbor so that we can gain the gift of life in God's kingdom. Thank you.